everyone. My name is Ahmad and I'm Ryan. And today I will discuss with you guys uh, about yang the effect globalization, globalization in civil engineering. And my topic is about globalization process. Tiga. Firstly, we should know about globalization. Globalization is a term that is used to describe the increasing trend towards international integrated markets and global interconnectedness. The impact of globalization has been felt all over the world as advanced in communications, information technology and the emergence of international trade agreement have slowly removed the obstacle of trade and the transfer of information across the national borders. So, the process is, it provides a brief discussion of the effect relation on the civil engineering profession in terms of future market growth, international trade agreement affecting engineers and the education and training of future civil engineers, the increasing expansion of engineering service into international markets present both incredible opportunity and significant challenge for the future of civil engineer. Globalization of the engineers professional will lead to greater access to world markets, competition and the freer flow of goods, service, capital and knowledge. That's it for the process of globalization. Uh, I will proceed to my other group mates to, to discuss about, about another topic for globalization. globalization. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali bin Nazir. I'm from Class C, EC110. And today, I'm going to continue what Daniel has told you. And this is a... I'm going to explain you about advantage and disadvantage of globalization. Okay, the first one is... For the advantage is... Optimal usage of the economy potential of city. The second one is deployment of innovative construction technologies. The third one is design the successful experience. Close relationship with government and urbanism activities. Promote the welfare of the society members. For the disadvantage of globalization, the rapid spread of financial crisis. This, the second one is disorder in urbanism and globalization process. Dilemma competition, globalization in small cities and town. And the last one is increase economic gap among different group of city members. Urbanism is uh, about the policy in the city. Uh, uh, I get. I guess that's all. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now I will continue about global climate change. Um, for Muhammad, I am Muhammad Iskandar Ikhwan bin Mazuki from J4EC one one o one C. Okay. Global climate change. Thus, there are those who debate it causes. Global climate change appears to be real. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, CO2, absorb heat, uh, infrared radiation emitted from Earth's surface, increases in the atmospheric concentration of these gases cause Earth to warm by trapping more of this heat. Human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels since the start of the Industrial Revolution, have increased atmospheric CO2 concentration by about 40%, with more than half the increase occurring since 1970. Um, since uh, 190, the global average surface temperature has increased by absorbed 0.8 degrees Celsius. This has been accompanied by warming of the ocean, a rise in sea level, 
a strong decline in Arctic sea ice and many other associated climate effects. Much of this warming during this period is much of this warming has occurred in the last of four decades. Detailed analyses have shown that the warming during this period is mainly a result of the increased concentration of CO2 and other greenhouse gases. The implications for civil engineers regarding on the global climate change are significant. Hey. Hello, my name is Muhammad Zaifa from Kasi. Uh, okay, I will continue the effect of climate change. Hey. Okay. Climate change. An average increase in Earth to temperature during the last century, melting the polar ice, polar bear, and other animals are drowning. Migrating birds are forced to change their time and place of migration. Melting of glaciers will lead to higher sea level, which will cause flood and put many low elevation regions at risk of disappearing underwater. Longer summer can disrupt animal habitation. Next, new and widespread disease because of warm climate. Damage crop due to sudden climate change and flood. Average precipitation increase around the world. Drought, heat wave, extreme winter and storm, hurricanes and typhoon. And last, more wildfire. That's it. Okay. This is it. Okay. That's it for, uh, for my teammate. Okay. Uh, see you later.